Wake up. Transform your life with powerful esoteric knowledge. Introduction. The Forgotten Power of Esoteric Knowledge. Throughout the ages, humankind has sought answers to the mysteries of existence, turning to the stars, the depths of the soul, and the hidden realms of the unseen. There, in the twilight between the material and the spiritual, lies a vast repository of knowledge, wisdom that has been guarded in the sanctuaries of esoteric traditions, passed down through secret orders and mystical schools. This knowledge, often hidden from the eyes of the masses, holds the keys to unlocking the full potential of the human soul. In this introduction, we begin the journey of remembering, reconnecting with these lost teachings, and understanding how they offer a pathway to transformation. The purpose of this book is to bring you closer to the sacred knowledge that has been preserved through millennia, hidden from those who are not yet ready to receive its power. Esoteric wisdom is not merely intellectual, it is experiential and transformative. The teachings that follow have the potential to awaken your spirit, ignite your inner strength, and lead you toward mastery of both your inner world and your outer reality. These are the teachings of the Rosicrucians, the Gnostics, the Hermetic philosophers, and other ancient orders who understood that the path to enlightenment requires more than passive learning. It requires active participation in the alchemical process of the soul. We live in a time when the distractions of the material world pull us further from our true nature. The noise of modern life, with its ceaseless demands, has lulled humanity into a kind of spiritual slumber. Yet the teachings of the ancients reveal that this state of sleep can be overcome. Awakening begins with knowledge, specifically, the knowledge of who we are at the deepest level of our being. The path to transformation is not found in external success or material gain. It is found within, in the stillness of the soul, where the eternal truths of the universe are inscribed. This book will guide you to rediscover this inner wisdom and apply it to your life, allowing you to transcend the limitations imposed by a world steeped in illusion. Why now? The world is shifting. Old systems of control, rooted in fear and ignorance, are beginning to crumble. In this time of upheaval, there is a growing need for individuals to reclaim their power, to step into their true nature as creators, and to live with purpose and clarity. Ancient wisdom, once kept in secret, is now being revealed to those who seek it with pure intention. This knowledge is not just for the chosen few, it is for those who are willing to embark on the journey of awakening. As the great mystics have said, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. The knowledge contained within these pages is a teacher, guiding you toward the realization of your highest potential. In this book, we will explore the sacred teachings of Gnosticism, Hermetricism, Rosicrucianism, and other esoteric traditions, using them as stepping stones on the path to spiritual evolution. Each chapter will build upon the next leading you through a process of awakening and transformation. But this is not just a book to be read, it is a guide to be lived. With each teaching, you will be given practical tools and exercises to apply the wisdom to your daily life. For it is through practice, through experience, that true understanding is gained. You are about to embark on a journey into the depths of your own being a journey that will reveal the hidden powers within you and unlock the mysteries of the universe. Let us begin. The Sleeping Mind, Gnosticism's View on Spiritual Ignorance The journey into spiritual awakening begins with the recognition of a profound truth. Humanity, as a collective, exists in a state of slumber. This slumber is not merely physical or intellectual, it is a spiritual slumber, a forgetting of our divine nature. In the ancient Gnostic tradition, this state of ignorance is described as the deep sleep into which the soul has fallen. It is a condition perpetuated by the illusion of the material world, crafted by forces that seek to keep the soul bound to the realm of matter. The Gnostics believed that this material world, with all its distractions, temptations, and sufferings, was created by the Demiurge a false god who veils the true light of the divine. 
The soul, encased in the physical body and subjected to the limitations of the material plane, is thus trapped in a cycle of ignorance and forgetfulness. The first step toward awakening is to understand this condition of spiritual sleep. The Gnostics spoke of the Archons, spiritual beings that serve the Demiurge, whose role is to maintain this illusion. They cloud the mind, manipulate emotions, and create false realities that keep the soul focused on transient, external experiences. These forces are not merely metaphorical but are real, operating within the hidden dimensions of existence. They thrive on fear, desire, and attachment to the physical world, feeding off the soul's energy as it remains unaware of its true origin. To remain asleep is to remain under their control, to be swayed by the forces of materialism, fear, and conformity. But the soul, despite these influences, carries within it the divine spark, a fragment of the true Godhead that cannot be extinguished. To awaken from this spiritual ignorance requires a radical shift in perception. It begins with recognizing that the material world is not the ultimate reality. What we perceive with our physical senses is only a fraction of the vast, multidimensional universe in which we exist. The Gnostic teachings encourage us to look beyond the veil of appearances, to seek the deeper truths that lie hidden beneath the surface of everyday life. This is the essence of Gnosis, direct, experiential knowledge of the divine. Gnosis is not something that can be taught in words. It is an awakening that occurs within the soul, a remembering of its divine origin and its connection to the infinite. One of the most powerful tools for this awakening is the practice of self-reflection. By examining our thoughts, emotions, and actions, we can begin to see the ways in which we have been conditioned by the material world. This conditioning keeps us locked in cycles of fear, desire, and attachment, preventing us from accessing the deeper layers of our consciousness. The practice of self-reflection allows us to step outside of these patterns, to observe them without attachment, and ultimately to dissolve them. As we begin to break free from these limitations, we open ourselves to the possibility of Gnosis, the direct experience of the Divine within. To begin this process, we must first become aware of the distractions that keep us from spiritual clarity. Modern life is filled with noise, literal and metaphorical. We are constantly bombarded with information, opinions, and stimuli that pull our attention outward. This external focus keeps us in a state of fragmentation, unable to connect with the deeper parts of ourselves. The Gnostics taught that the path to awakening begins with turning inward, withdrawing from the external world, and cultivating a state of inner stillness. Through practices such as meditation, contemplation, and prayer, we can quiet the mind and begin to perceive the subtle realms of spirit that lie beyond the material. This inner stillness is the gateway to Gnosis, the key to unlocking the divine mysteries that reside within us. The Rosicrucian Way to Awakening In the secret orders of the Rosicrucians, the journey toward awakening is symbolized by the sacred union of the rose and the cross, a profound representation of the merging of spirit and matter, of divine love and human experience. The rose, a symbol of the soul's unfolding beauty and potential, blooms atop the cross, which represents the trials of life, the material plane, and the necessary crucible through which the soul must pass. Together, they embody the core teaching of the Rosicrucian path, that spiritual awakening occurs not by escaping the material world, but by transmuting it, by finding divinity within the very fabric of earthly existence. This alchemical process of inner transformation is the key to unlocking higher states of consciousness. The Rosicrucian tradition holds that humanity is on a collective evolutionary journey, and each individual soul must undergo its own process of purification, enlightenment, and mastery. This process is often referred to as the great work, the alchemical transformation of the self. It is the inner work of turning the base elements of our nature, our fears, desires, and weaknesses, into the gold of higher awareness, wisdom, and spiritual strength.
This transformation does not happen overnight. It requires patience, dedication, and a deep commitment to self-mastery. The Rosicrucian teachings emphasize that this work must be done in secret, within the inner sanctum of the soul. Just as the ancient alchemists worked in hidden laboratories to perfect their craft, so too must the spiritual seeker cultivate their inner temple in silence and solitude. Central to this journey is the understanding of the self as both divine and human. The Rosicrucians teach that the soul is a spark of the divine, a fragment of the eternal that is temporarily housed in the physical body. This dual nature, spirit and matter, divine and human, is the source of both our challenges and our potential. The material world, with all its suffering and limitations, is not something to be rejected but embraced as the arena in which the soul grows and evolves. It is through the trials of life, through our interactions with the physical world, that we are given the opportunity to refine our souls, to cultivate virtues such as patience, compassion, and wisdom. The cross we bear in life is the very thing that allows the rose of our soul to bloom. One of the key practices on the Rosicrucian path is the cultivation of inner silence. In this silence, the soul can hear the whispers of the divine and connect with its higher self. This practice of silence is not simply the absence of noise, but a deep stillness of mind and heart, where the distractions of the external world fall away and the seeker becomes attuned to the subtle energies of the inner world. Through meditation, prayer, and contemplation, the Rosicrucians teach that we can access higher states of consciousness, where the mysteries of the universe are revealed. This inner stillness is essential for the great work, for it is in this state of receptivity that the soul receives guidance from the higher realms and begins to perceive the deeper truths of existence. To assist the seeker on this path of awakening, the Rosicrucians offer rituals and practices designed to purify the mind, body, and spirit. These rituals are not mere formalities but powerful tools that align the seeker with the higher forces of the cosmos. One such ritual is the practice of spiritual alchemy, where the seeker visualizes the transmutation of their lower nature into higher states of consciousness. This practice involves the use of symbols, sacred geometry, and affirmations to guide the mind through the process of transformation. By engaging in these rituals, the seeker strengthens their connection to the divine and accelerates their spiritual evolution. The Rosicrucian way to awakening is a path of self-transformation, one that requires both discipline and surrender. It is a journey that leads the seeker through the dark night of the soul where all illusions are stripped away, and into the light of higher consciousness. Along this path, the seeker learns that true power comes not from the external world, but from within, through the mastery of the self and the realization of one's divine nature. The rose and the cross, spirit and matter, are ultimately one and the same, and it is through their union that the soul attains the fullness of its potential. As you embark on this path, you are invited to engage deeply with the ancient wisdom of the Rosicrucians, to undertake your own great work, and to awaken to the divine within. Hermetic Principles for Mastering Your Reality In the heart of the Hermetic tradition lies a profound understanding of reality, that all existence is fundamentally mental. The Principle of Mentalism, the first of the seven Hermetic principles found in the ancient text the Kabbalion, states, the all is mind, the universe is mental. This revelation is not merely a philosophical abstraction, but a practical key to understanding and mastering the forces that shape your life. To embrace this principle is to recognize that everything you perceive, everything you experience, originates in the mind, your thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions are the raw material from which your reality is crafted. Thus, to transform your life, you must first transform your mind. The Hermetic teachings go beyond mere intellectual concepts. They provide a framework for actively engaging with the unseen forces that govern both the inner and outer worlds. The principle of mentalism invites you to take responsibility for your reality, knowing that your thoughts ripple through the cosmos, 
shaping your destiny in ways both subtle and profound. The mind, like a mirror, reflects the universe, and in turn, the universe reflects the mind. This cosmic interplay between inner thought and outer manifestation is the key to mastering not only your personal reality but also the larger patterns of existence that connect you to the greater whole. Another essential hermetic principle is that of correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. This ancient axiom reveals that the laws governing the cosmos are the same laws that govern your inner world. The microcosm of your thoughts, emotions, and spirit mirrors the macrocosm of the universe. This principle teaches that by understanding the workings of your inner self, you can gain insight into the mysteries of the universe, and by observing the patterns in the universe, you can unlock the hidden potential within your soul. Everything is interconnected, and through this connection, the seeker can rise beyond the ordinary confines of perception, learning to navigate both the spiritual and material worlds with wisdom and grace. To apply the principle of correspondence in daily life is to recognize that every thought, every emotion, and every action resonates with universal forces. Your mind is like a tuning fork, vibrating in harmony, or discord, with the frequencies of the cosmos. By aligning your inner state with the higher vibrations of the universe, you can bring order, clarity, and purpose into your life. Meditation, visualization, and mindful living become the tools by which you attune yourself to these higher frequencies. Through daily practice, you learn to transcend the noise of the material world and access the deeper, more subtle energies that shape reality from behind the veil of appearances. In addition to mentalism and correspondence, the hermetic principle of vibration teaches that everything in the universe is in constant motion, vibrating at different frequencies. This law is foundational in understanding how change occurs, by altering your internal vibration, you can shift your external circumstances. Thoughts and emotions are not static, they are energetic forces, vibrating at specific frequencies that either attract or repel corresponding energies in the universe. Low vibrational thoughts, such as fear, doubt, and anger, attract experiences that mirror these frequencies. Conversely, high vibrational states, such as love, gratitude, and peace, draw in opportunities and situations that reflect these elevated frequencies. To harness the power of vibration, you must cultivate awareness of your inner state and learn to consciously shift your energy. Techniques such as breathwork, sound healing, and chanting sacred mantras are ancient tools used to raise your vibrational frequency and align with higher states of being. The Hermetic practitioner knows that mastery over vibration is mastery over reality itself. By deliberately raising your vibration, you attune yourself to the creative forces of the universe allowing you to manifest your desires with greater ease and precision. In this way, the Hermetic Path offers not only spiritual awakening but also practical tools for achieving success in the material world. The wisdom of the Hermetic tradition is a call to mastery, of the mind, of the self, and of the universe. By understanding and applying the principles of mentalism, correspondence, and vibration, you step into your role as a conscious creator, able to shape your reality from the inside out. The universe is not a random, chaotic force but a living, breathing expression of divine thought, and you, as a manifestation of that divine thought, have the power to direct the flow of your life. In the stillness of meditation, in the focused intent of your thoughts, and in the harmonious vibration of your being, you find the keys to unlocking the hidden potential within and around you. The journey of hermetic mastery is one of continual awakening, where the deeper mysteries of existence unfold in direct response to the mastery of your inner world. The soul's journey, the Gnostic and esoteric map of human evolution. In the depths of esoteric wisdom, the soul is seen as an eternal traveler, embarking on a journey through time, space, and consciousness. Gnostic teachings, along with the ancient doctrines of mystical traditions, 
described the soul's path as a spiral of growth, where each incarnation is a step closer to self-realization and divine union. This journey is not a linear progression, but a complex, multi-dimensional unfolding of spiritual truths. The soul, as the essence of the individual, moves through various states of being, refining itself with each lifetime, shedding illusions, and awakening to its true divine nature. Gnosticism, in particular, offers a profound vision of the soul's journey, one that begins with a fall into the material world, a world governed by the demiurge, the false creator who binds souls in ignorance. According to Gnostic thought, the material realm is a domain of illusion, designed to keep humanity trapped in a state of spiritual sleep. The soul, in its original state, is a fragment of the divine pleroma, the fullness of God, and its journey in the physical world is one of awakening from this imposed slumber. Every challenge, every trial faced in the material realm is an opportunity for the soul to remember its true origin and reclaim its place within the divine. The esoteric view of reincarnation plays a key role in understanding the soul's evolution. Across lifetimes, the soul gathers experiences, both joyful and painful, to refine its understanding and knowledge. These incarnations are not random. They are part of a greater cosmic design, where each life serves as a lesson in the grand curriculum of spiritual awakening. Karma, the law of cause and effect, weaves through these lifetimes, as the actions of one incarnation ripple into the next, shaping the soul's path and its circumstances. Yet karma is not punitive. It is an opportunity for growth a mirror reflecting the soul's inner state and offering the chance to realign with the higher cosmic order. Esoteric traditions teach that the journey of the soul is one of alchemy, a process of transmuting the base, earthly elements of existence into the refined gold of spiritual wisdom. This inner alchemy mirrors the great work of the ancient alchemists who sought to turn lead into gold. In this metaphor, the lead represents the soul weighed down by ignorance, fear, and attachment to the material world, while the gold symbolizes the awakened soul, luminous with divine knowledge and free from the chains of illusion. Each lifetime offers the soul a new crucible for this alchemical transformation, and the flames of experience, when embraced with awareness, purify and elevate the soul toward higher states of consciousness. In practical terms, this journey of the soul demands introspection and reflection. By looking at the patterns of your life, your relationships, your struggles, your deepest desires, you can begin to trace the karmic threads that have woven your current reality. The challenges you face are not arbitrary. They are the echoes of previous actions, thoughts, and intentions, guiding you toward the lessons your soul must learn. This reflection is not meant to induce guilt or regret but to empower you to take responsibility for your spiritual evolution. With this knowledge, you can begin to make conscious choices that align with your soul's higher purpose, breaking free from cycles of ignorance and moving toward liberation. As you awaken to the reality of the soul's journey, you come to understand that life's struggles are not obstacles but initiations. Each hardship, each moment of doubt, is an invitation to go deeper into the truth of who you are, a being of divine origin, temporarily housed in a material form. By cultivating awareness of your soul's journey, you transcend the limitations of the physical world, recognizing it as a stage for your soul's growth. This shift in perspective opens the door to higher states of consciousness, where the wisdom of the ages becomes accessible, and the true purpose of life is revealed. The soul's journey is not merely a path of survival. It is a sacred pilgrimage toward unity with the divine. The esoteric map of the soul's journey reminds us that we are more than flesh and bone, more than our thoughts and emotions. We are eternal beings, moving through time and space in search of the divine light that has always been within us. This journey is not without its challenges, but each step is a sacred act of remembrance, of who we are, where we come from, and where we are destined to return. Through the practices of meditation, 
self-reflection, and conscious living, we align ourselves with this deeper truth, awakening to the reality that we are both the traveler and the destination, both the question and the answer, both the spark and the flame. The Esoteric Science of Thought and Belief In the realm of esoteric teachings, thought is seen not as a fleeting impulse or a mere byproduct of the mind, but as a force, one that holds the power to shape reality itself. Ancient occult doctrines, from Hermeticism to the mystical insights of Rosicrucianism, reveal that the universe responds to the vibration of thought, bending to its direction like a malleable substance. To master thought is to master creation. This truth has echoed through the ages, passed down in sacred writings and whispered in the hidden chambers of mystery schools, for it is through thought that the soul exercises its divine power in the physical world. Neville Goddard, a modern esoteric teacher, emphasized this truth in his profound teachings on the power of belief. Goddard taught that the imagination is God's tool in the human being, and that belief is the key that unlocks the gates of manifestation. In his view, the mind does not merely perceive reality, it creates it. This aligns with the hermetic principle of mentalism, which asserts that all is mind. The universe, in this framework, is understood as a mental construct, a projection of thought from the divine mind. Just as the universe was thought into existence, so too is each individual life created, directed, and transformed through the power of thought and belief. The occult understanding of thought extends beyond the individual mind and into the fabric of reality itself. Thought, when concentrated and imbued with intention, becomes a form of energy, vibrating on subtle planes of existence. In the etheric realms, thought forms take shape, gathering momentum as they are nurtured and fed by belief. These thought forms are like seeds planted in the fertile ground of the subconscious mind, which, over time, blossom into physical experience. The adept, the spiritual seeker who has learned to harness the power of thought, understands this process deeply. They know that the outer world is but a mirror, reflecting the inner landscape of the mind. This brings us to the power of belief, for it is not enough to think, we must believe in the reality of our thoughts. Belief is the vital spark that animates thought forms, granting them life and substance. Without belief, thought is a shadow, insubstantial and fleeting. But with belief, thought becomes a living force, capable of reshaping the material world. The ancient mystics understood this, teaching that belief is the bridge between the spiritual and physical realms. It is belief that draws the unseen into the seen, the intangible into the tangible. Thus, to cultivate belief is to cultivate the power of creation itself. Practical techniques for mastering this esoteric science begin with training the mind to focus and direct thought with clarity and precision. This practice, often referred to as mental discipline, involves learning to hold a single thought or intention in the mind without distraction, allowing it to gather strength and energy. Visualization is a powerful tool in this regard. By vividly imagining a desired outcome as if it were already realized, one creates a blueprint in the astral plane, a mold into which the material world can flow. The more detailed and emotionally charged the visualization, the stronger the thought form becomes, pulling the desired reality toward you like a magnet. However, the true key to mastery lies in aligning the conscious mind with the subconscious. The subconscious mind, according to esoteric wisdom, is the gateway to the infinite. It is where the seeds of thought take root and grow into reality. This part of the mind operates beneath the surface of everyday awareness, yet it is constantly at work, shaping the circumstances of life based on the thoughts and beliefs impressed upon it. To manifest effectively, one must engage the subconscious mind through repetition, emotion, and imagery. Affirmations, repeated with conviction, and visualizations performed with feeling, send powerful signals to the subconscious, aligning it with the conscious desires of the individual. Yet, 
There is a deeper layer to the esoteric science of thought and belief, one that transcends the personal and touches the universal. The most powerful thoughts are those aligned with the higher will, with the divine purpose that flows through all creation. When one's personal intentions resonate with the greater cosmic order, manifestation becomes effortless, for the individual is no longer working against the current of the universe but moving with it. This is the secret known to the ancient sages, that true power lies not in the manipulation of the external world, but in harmonizing one's thoughts and beliefs with the divine will, thus becoming a conduit for the creative force of the universe itself. In mastering the science of thought and belief, you come to realize that the mind is both the creator and the created. The world you experience is a reflection of the thoughts you hold, and as you refine your thoughts, you refine your reality. The path to mastery is one of self-awareness and inner discipline, of learning to guide the mind rather than being led by it. As you deepen your understanding of this esoteric truth, you unlock the power to consciously shape your life in alignment with your highest purpose. Thought becomes not just a tool, but a sacred act of creation, drawing from the wellspring of divine power that flows through all things. Understanding and Using Symbolism for Spiritual Mastery Symbols are the language of the soul, and within their intricate forms lie gateways to the mysteries of existence. Throughout the ages, mystical traditions and esoteric teachings have revered symbols as vessels of divine wisdom, capable of conveying profound truths that transcend the limitations of the spoken word. The ancients knew that symbols speak directly to the deeper layers of consciousness, bypassing the rational mind to stir the intuitive faculties. In the Rosicrucian and Gnostic traditions, symbols were used as keys to unlock higher states of awareness, granting the seeker access to realms of hidden knowledge. To understand and work with symbols is to step into the sacred tradition of the initiate, the one who perceives the invisible forces shaping the material world. Esoteric symbolism holds power because it encapsulates universal principles within archetypal forms. Consider the cross, a symbol present in countless spiritual systems. In Christian mysticism, it represents the intersection of heaven and earth, spirit and matter. In alchemy, it is a symbol of transformation, the crossing of opposites to create the philosopher's stone, the divine union of opposites that leads to enlightenment. The Rosicrucians saw in the rose and cross a representation of the soul's journey, the cross as the material plane, and the rose, blooming at its center, as the unfolding of the soul's divine potential. Every symbol carries within it layers of meaning, each unveiling deeper truths as the initiate's understanding grows. The power of symbols lies in their ability to connect us with the archetypal forces that structure reality. Archetypes are the original patterns or blueprints of existence, and symbols are their visible expressions in the material world. Carl Jung, the great psychologist and mystic, recognized that these archetypes reside in the collective unconscious, a vast reservoir of ancient memories and experiences shared by all of humanity. By working with symbols, we connect to these archetypal forces, drawing their energies into our consciousness. Symbols become mirrors, reflecting the unseen forces at work in our lives and offering insight into the patterns shaping our destinies. To understand a symbol is to understand the archetypal power it embodies, and through this understanding, we can align ourselves with those forces, directing them towards spiritual mastery. Personal symbolism, too, plays a vital role in the path of awakening. While universal symbols hold great power, each individual carries within them unique symbols that resonate with their personal spiritual journey. These personal symbols often arise through dreams, meditation, or moments of deep reflection. They are messages from the soul, guiding the individual toward greater self-understanding and spiritual alignment. The process of identifying and working with personal symbols can be transformative, for it brings the seeker into direct communication with their inner world. These symbols act as signposts on the path, revealing hidden truths and providing direction when the way forward seems unclear. 
To begin working with symbols, one must first cultivate a sense of reverence and openness. Approach symbols not with the analytical mind, but with the heart and the intuitive faculties. Let their meaning reveal itself gradually, through contemplation and meditation. A powerful practice is to select a symbol, whether it be a well-known archetypal symbol or one that has emerged from your own subconscious, and meditate upon it regularly. Visualize the symbol in vivid detail, allowing its form and essence to permeate your consciousness. Over time, its hidden meanings will begin to unfold, guiding you deeper into its mysteries. This practice was used by ancient mystics, who understood that symbols are living entities, imbued with the power to transform consciousness. In addition to meditation, rituals centered around symbols can be a potent tool for spiritual mastery. The use of sacred symbols in ritual practice serves to align the practitioner with the forces those symbols represent. For example, a ritual invoking the Ankh, the ancient Egyptian symbol of eternal life, can be performed to align oneself with the flow of divine energy, drawing life force into the body and soul. Similarly, working with the symbol of the Ouroboros, the serpent devouring its own tail, can help one attune to the cyclical nature of existence and the process of spiritual renewal. When used in ritual, symbols act as conduits for higher energies, facilitating a connection between the material and spiritual realms. Understanding symbolism also opens the door to recognizing the hidden forces at play in everyday life. Symbols are not limited to sacred texts or rituals, they permeate the fabric of reality itself. Nature is filled with symbolic expressions of the divine, from the patterns of leaves to the cycles of the moon. Every element of existence, when viewed through the lens of esoteric knowledge, becomes a reflection of the greater spiritual truths. The universe speaks to us constantly through symbols, inviting us to awaken to the deeper realities that lie beyond the surface. By cultivating symbolic awareness, we can begin to perceive the divine presence in all things, transforming the mundane into the sacred. As you deepen your work with symbols, you will find that they become not only tools for spiritual growth but also guides on the path of self-mastery. Each symbol you encounter, whether in meditation, dreams, or waking life, carries a message meant specifically for you. These messages are often subtle, requiring patience and inner stillness to decipher. But once understood, they reveal profound truths about your soul's journey and the forces shaping your reality. To master symbols is to master the language of the soul, to become fluent in the silent, universal language of the cosmos. Through this mastery, you step into the role of the Creator, aligning your thoughts, actions, and intentions with the divine patterns that underlie all existence. The Occult Law of Vibration, Aligning with Higher Frequencies In the hidden corridors of the ancient mystery schools, initiates were taught a sacred truth, everything is energy, and all energy vibrates at different frequencies. This knowledge was held in high regard by Hermetic philosophers, Gnostics, and Rosicrucians alike, who understood that mastering the law of vibration was key to transforming both the self and the world. At the heart of this esoteric principle lies the understanding that the universe is not a static construct of matter, but a dynamic interplay of vibrating energies. Everything, from the stars in the sky to the thoughts within your mind, vibrates at a specific frequency, and by aligning oneself with higher frequencies, one gains the power to transform their reality. The Hermetic tradition, encapsulated in the wisdom of the Kabbalion, declares that, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. This simple yet profound statement unveils the foundation of the occult understanding of the cosmos. The physical world, despite its appearance of solidity and permanence, is but a dense concentration of energy vibrating at a lower frequency. Higher frequencies, such as those of thought, emotion, and spirit, operate on more subtle planes, beyond the reach of ordinary perception. Yet, these planes of vibration influence the physical world in profound ways, shaping events, relationships, and circumstances. 
The adept who understands this can consciously attune themselves to these higher vibrations, aligning their thoughts and intentions with the forces that shape reality. To grasp the practical implications of the law of vibration, we must first understand the relationship between our inner state and the vibrational frequency we emit. Every thought, emotion, and action generates a unique vibrational signature, which resonates with corresponding frequencies in the external world. Positive emotions such as love, compassion, and gratitude vibrate at higher frequencies, attracting harmonious experiences and energies. Conversely, negative emotions such as fear, anger, and jealousy resonate with lower frequencies, drawing chaotic and limiting experiences into one's life. The Hermetic Principle, as above, so below, reflects this dynamic, reminding us that the microcosm of our inner world mirrors the macrocosm of our outer reality. By mastering our internal vibrations, we gain the ability to shape our external circumstances with precision and grace. Aligning with higher frequencies is not a passive endeavor but a deliberate act of spiritual discipline. The ancient mystics understood that raising one's vibration requires the purification of both mind and body. In Gnostic and Rosicrucian teachings, this process was often likened to alchemy, the transmutation of base matter into spiritual gold. Just as the alchemist refines crude metals into their purest form, the seeker must refine their thoughts, emotions, and habits, shedding lower vibrations to attune to the higher frequencies of the divine. This is achieved through practices such as meditation, breathwork, and conscious intention. Each of these practices serves to quiet the lower mind, allowing the practitioner to access the subtler vibrations of higher consciousness. One of the most powerful ways to raise your vibration is through the conscious cultivation of positive emotions and thoughts. In the esoteric tradition, thought is not merely a byproduct of consciousness but a creative force that generates its own vibrational frequency. The thoughts you hold in your mind, whether positive or negative, emit waves of energy that ripple through the fabric of the universe, influencing both your immediate environment and the greater cosmos. By focusing your mind on higher vibrational states, such as love, peace, and abundance, you magnetize those same energies into your life. The key is consistency, for it is not enough to occasionally dwell in higher vibrations. The adept must make this their habitual state of being, transcending the lower frequencies of fear and limitation. Sound, too, is a powerful tool for attuning to higher vibrations. In both the Hermetic and Rosicrucian traditions, sound was revered as a bridge between the material and spiritual worlds. Ancient chants, mantras, and sacred sounds were used to alter the vibrational state of the practitioner, opening the gateway to higher realms of consciousness. Each sound carries a unique vibrational frequency that can elevate the energy of the individual and their surroundings. Chanting sacred mantras, such as Om, or AUM, aligns the individual with the primordial vibration of creation, resonating with the highest frequencies of the universe. Similarly, instruments such as Tibetan singing bowls, chimes, and tuning forks are used to raise the vibrational frequency of a space, clearing negative energies and invoking harmony. Breathwork is another essential practice for raising one's vibration, as it serves as a direct link between the body and the soul. The breath carries prana, the life force energy, which nourishes both the physical and subtle bodies. When we breathe consciously and deeply, we infuse our being with higher vibrational energy, activating the spiritual centers within us. Yogic and esoteric traditions alike teach that the breath is the key to mastering the mind and body, and through breath control, one can elevate their consciousness to higher planes. Simple techniques, such as diaphragmatic breathing or alternate nostril breathing, help calm the nervous system, release energetic blockages, and attune the practitioner to higher frequencies. As you work to raise your vibration, it is crucial to remember that the process is not linear but cyclical. There will be moments of expansion, 
where you feel deeply connected to higher frequencies, and moments of contraction, where lower vibrations may resurface. This is part of the natural rhythm of spiritual growth, and each phase serves its purpose. The key is to remain vigilant, continuously aligning yourself with the higher frequencies through conscious thought, emotion, and action. Over time, this alignment becomes second nature, and you will find yourself dwelling more consistently in the higher vibrational states of love, peace, and divine clarity. To live in harmony with the law of vibration is to live as a conscious co-creator of your reality. By attuning to higher frequencies, you not only transform your own life but also contribute to the elevation of the collective consciousness. Each time you raise your vibration, you send ripples of higher energy into the world, uplifting those around you and aligning with the divine forces that guide the evolution of the cosmos. This is the path of the initiate, the one who understands that mastery over vibration is mastery over life itself. In this understanding, you hold the key to unlocking your highest potential and transforming your reality into a reflection of the divine. The Occult Art of Astral Travel and Lucid Dreaming In the ancient schools of mystery, there existed sacred teachings known only to initiates, teachings that spoke of realms beyond the physical, places where the soul could traverse unfettered by the limitations of the body. The arts of astral travel and lucid dreaming were among the highest of these esoteric practices, granting the seeker direct access to the spiritual planes and higher dimensions of consciousness. These practices are not mere fantasies of the imagination, they are profound tools for spiritual awakening, allowing the practitioner to experience reality beyond the confines of the material world and to commune with divine forces that are otherwise obscured by the veil of physical existence. Astral travel, often referred to as an out-of-body experience, is the conscious projection of the soul or spirit beyond the physical form into the astral plane. The astral plane is a dimension that mirrors the physical world but exists at a higher vibrational frequency. It is the realm where thought manifests instantly, where time and space do not adhere to the rigid rules of the material world, and where one's spiritual evolution can be accelerated through direct encounters with higher beings, ancestral spirits, and cosmic knowledge. The Rosicrucians and Hermetricists alike understood the astral realm as a place of both learning and mastery a domain where the seeker can shed the illusions of material life and confront the deeper truths of existence. Lucid dreaming, often seen as the precursor to astral travel, involves becoming fully aware within the dream state. In this heightened state of consciousness, the dreamer realizes they are dreaming and can take control of the dream environment. Lucid dreaming provides a bridge between waking reality and the astral realm, offering a controlled space where one can practice navigating non-physical realities before advancing to full astral projection. Gnostic and esoteric traditions teach that dreams are not just figments of the subconscious but are gateways to deeper levels of awareness. They are moments when the soul, unencumbered by the physical body, can roam free and interact with the spiritual dimensions. Mastering lucid dreaming allows the practitioner to cultivate awareness in the dream state, which serves as a training ground for the more profound experience of astral travel. To begin the journey of astral travel and lucid dreaming, one must cultivate an understanding of the subtle body, often referred to as the astral or etheric body. This is the energetic counterpart to the physical body, connected by a thin, silver cord that anchors the soul to the physical form during astral excursions. The practice of astral travel involves consciously separating this subtle body from the physical body while maintaining awareness, allowing the soul to explore the astral plane freely. The first step in this process is the development of a deep state of relaxation, where the body is at rest, but the mind remains alert. Meditation and breathwork are essential practices for achieving this state, as they quiet the physical senses and prepare the subtle body for projection. One of the most effective methods for initiating astral travel is the practice of visualization. As the body enters a state of relaxation, 
the practitioner visualizes themselves rising out of their physical form, imagining the subtle body floating above. In esoteric traditions, this process is often referred to as lifting the veil between the physical and astral worlds. The Rosicrucians would invoke sacred symbols or mantras to facilitate this process, creating a vibrational resonance that assists in the separation of the subtle body. For those new to the practice, it is advisable to begin with simple visualizations of walking through familiar places in the astral form, gradually building toward more complex explorations of the astral realm. Lucid dreaming, while often occurring spontaneously, can be cultivated through the practice of dream recall and reality testing. The first step is to train the mind to remember dreams upon waking. Keeping a dream journal by one's bedside and recording every detail upon waking helps to build the bridge between waking consciousness and the dream state. Once this practice is established, reality testing becomes the next phase of preparation. Throughout the day, the practitioner should regularly question whether they are awake or dreaming, performing small tests to confirm their state of consciousness. For example, one might try to pass their hand through a solid object or check a clock multiple times to see if the time changes, a common feature of dreams. By training the mind to ask these questions during waking life, the habit will carry over into the dream state, triggering the realization that one is dreaming and allowing for conscious control. Once lucid within the dream, the possibilities for exploration are boundless. The lucid dreamer can summon spiritual guides, visit distant lands, or even practice skills that can be carried over into waking life. In the esoteric traditions, lucid dreaming is not just a method of entertainment but a powerful tool for self-mastery. It allows the practitioner to confront their subconscious fears, heal emotional wounds, and access deeper levels of spiritual knowledge. In many ways, Lucid dreaming serves as the training ground for astral travel, teaching the mind to remain conscious in altered states of reality. As the dreamer becomes more adept at controlling their dreams, the transition to conscious astral travel becomes a natural progression. The benefits of mastering astral travel and lucid dreaming extend far beyond the thrill of exploration. These practices offer profound spiritual insights, providing the seeker with direct experiences of higher dimensions and a deeper understanding of the nature of the self. In the astral realm, the laws of time and space are malleable, allowing the practitioner to access knowledge from past lives, receive guidance from spiritual beings, and explore the inner workings of the universe. It is in these realms that one may encounter the guardians of the mysteries, beings of light who hold the keys to deeper spiritual wisdom. These encounters are not just passive experiences but opportunities for growth, as the traveler learns to navigate the astral plane with respect, intention, and spiritual maturity. For those who seek to deepen their spiritual practice, astral travel and lucid dreaming are gateways to the infinite. They allow the practitioner to transcend the limitations of the physical body and experience firsthand the interconnectedness of all things. As you continue to develop these skills, you will find that the boundaries between waking life, dreams, and the astral plane begin to blur. This is the mark of the initiate, the one who has learned to navigate the many layers of reality with awareness and intention, using the wisdom gained in the unseen realms to transform both the inner and outer worlds. In the end, Astral travel and lucid dreaming are not merely esoteric curiosities but profound tools for spiritual awakening. They teach us that reality is far more expansive than the physical world we perceive with our senses. They remind us that we are spiritual beings, capable of traversing vast realms of existence, and that through conscious exploration, we can unlock the deepest mysteries of the soul. As you embark on this journey, Remember that patience, practice, and reverence are your guides. With each experience, you step closer to the realization of your divine nature and the limitless potential of the universe within and around you. The Power of Rituals – Bridging the Seen and Unseen Worlds Rituals, in the ancient traditions of the mystical schools, 
are bridges between the seen and the unseen. They are powerful tools that align the physical world with the spiritual realms, allowing the practitioner to connect with energies that are often beyond the reach of ordinary consciousness. In esoteric traditions, whether Gnostic, Rosicrucian, or Hermetic, rituals are not mere repetitions of symbolic gestures. Rather, they are precise, intentional acts that engage the deeper forces of the cosmos, helping the practitioner invoke spiritual power and bring about transformation in the material plane. The true power of ritual lies in its ability to focus the mind and spirit on a single, unified purpose, harnessing both the conscious and subconscious to manifest desired outcomes. In Gnostic and Hermetic teachings, rituals serve as a form of sacred dialogue between the practitioner and the higher forces of the universe. Each step, each symbol, and each word spoken in a ritual is imbued with ancient meaning, calling upon energies that transcend time and space. The Rosicrucians, for example, understood rituals as means of invoking the invisible powers of nature, powers that could assist in spiritual transformation, healing, and the realization of one's higher self. For these mystical orders, the performance of a ritual was a sacred act of creation, echoing the divine process that shaped the cosmos. Through ritual, the practitioner mirrors the divine creative act, shaping their reality through intentional thought, word, and action. The essence of a powerful ritual lies in its symbolism and structure. Symbols in esoteric rituals are keys that unlock the doors to higher realms of consciousness. Each symbol carries with it layers of meaning, resonating with universal archetypes that tap into the collective unconscious. In the Hermetic tradition, for example, the use of sacred geometry, such as the circle, the triangle, or the pentagram, creates specific energetic fields that invite the presence of higher beings and cosmic forces. The circle, a symbol of wholeness and eternity, is often used to define sacred space, creating a protective barrier that separates the ritual space from the mundane world. By understanding and wielding these symbols, the practitioner draws upon the hidden powers of the universe, channeling them into their ritual practice to achieve spiritual and material goals. However, it is not merely the symbols that give rituals their power. It is the intention behind the ritual that creates the true alchemy. Intent is the invisible thread that weaves together the physical and spiritual components of the ritual, guiding the energy toward its intended purpose. Without clear and focused intention, the ritual is little more than an empty gesture. In the esoteric schools, initiates are taught to cultivate deep clarity and presence before beginning any ritual work. This clarity of mind allows the practitioner to align their personal will with the divine will, ensuring that their actions resonate with the higher laws of the cosmos. In this way, rituals become not just acts of personal desire but reflections of the universal order, helping to maintain harmony between the individual and the greater whole. The process of creating a personal ritual is a sacred act in itself. While traditional rituals handed down through the ages carry immense power, there is also great strength in crafting rituals that are unique to one's personal spiritual journey. To begin, the practitioner must first identify the intention or purpose behind the ritual, whether it is for protection, healing, manifestation, or spiritual growth. This intention must be held with unwavering focus, as it becomes the seed from which the ritual's energy will grow. Next, symbols, objects, or elements that resonate with this intention should be chosen. These could include candles to represent light and clarity, crystals to amplify energy, or specific herbs and oils known for their spiritual properties. The act of selecting and preparing these elements is a ritual in itself, infusing the objects with the practitioner's intention and connecting them to the energies they wish to invoke. Once the ritual is prepared, the space in which it will be performed must be consecrated. The consecration of space is a vital step in separating the ordinary from the sacred. It is through this act that the practitioner creates a liminal space, one that exists between the worlds, 
where the material and spiritual realms converge. In traditional esoteric practices, this might be done through the drawing of a circle, the burning of incense, or the chanting of sacred mantras. These actions purify the space and prepare it for the entry of higher energies. The Rosicrucians, for instance, would call upon the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water, to balance and harmonize the energy within the space, creating a stable foundation for the ritual to unfold. During the ritual, it is essential to remain present and open to the subtle energies at work. Rituals are dynamic, living processes. They require the practitioner to be an active participant, fully engaged in the flow of energy. In the Gnostic tradition, rituals often involved meditative states, where the practitioner would enter a trance-like state to commune directly with divine forces. This practice of deep focus is crucial, as it allows the practitioner to transcend the conscious mind and access the deeper, subconscious realms where true transformation occurs. Whether the ritual involves invoking a spiritual guide, seeking answers to a personal question, or manifesting a specific outcome, the practitioner's focus must remain sharp, yet receptive to the energies that arise. When the ritual comes to a close, it is important to ground the energy that has been raised. Grounding is the process of bringing the energy from the spiritual realm back into the physical world, ensuring that the effects of the ritual are integrated into daily life. In Hermetic teachings, this is often done through the act of gratitude, thanking the forces and energies that have been invoked, acknowledging their presence and assistance. This act of gratitude not only closes the energetic loop but also strengthens the connection between the practitioner and the higher realms making future rituals even more potent. After the ritual, it is helpful to reflect on the experience, journaling any insights or feelings that arose during the process. These reflections provide valuable guidance for future rituals and deepen the practitioner's understanding of their spiritual path. Rituals are sacred acts that connect the practitioner with the deeper currents of the universe. They are not only tools for personal transformation but also a means of aligning with the divine order. Whether following a traditional ritual or creating one's own, the key lies in the clarity of intention, the use of symbolic elements, and the ability to remain present and focused throughout the process. Through ritual, we become active participants in the creative process of the cosmos, shaping both our inner and outer realities in accordance with the highest spiritual laws. In this way, rituals are both a return to ancient wisdom and a path toward personal and spiritual mastery, bridging the gap between the seen and unseen worlds, and leading the practitioner closer to their divine nature. The Esoteric Science of Energy Protection In the unseen world, energy flows continuously between beings, objects, and environments. These energies, both visible and invisible, shape the contours of our experience, influencing our emotional, mental, and physical states. Ancient esoteric teachings understood the delicate interplay between the seen and unseen worlds, recognizing the importance of guarding one's personal energy field. Energy protection is not merely a defense mechanism. It is a conscious cultivation of one's spiritual essence, an art form that aligns the individual with higher vibrational frequencies while shielding against lower, disruptive energies. This sacred practice forms a foundation of spiritual resilience in traditions such as Hermeticism, Gnosticism, and Rosicrucianism. Esoteric schools teach that the human aura, an energetic field surrounding the physical body, acts as a protective shield. This auric field is a direct reflection of one's spiritual and emotional health, constantly interacting with the energies around it. In times of heightened spiritual awareness, the aura expands, becoming a radiant light that repels negative influences. Conversely, when weakened by emotional turmoil, stress, or spiritual neglect, the aura becomes porous, allowing unwanted energies to seep in. Hermetic wisdom emphasizes that to maintain spiritual integrity, one must regularly cleanse and fortify this auric field. Like the maintenance of a temple, 
The aura requires attention, purification, and reinforcement, ensuring it remains a vessel of divine energy rather than a receptacle for harmful vibrations. One of the primary techniques for strengthening the aura involves the use of visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool, not merely of the mind, but of the soul's ability to interact with subtle energies. In occult traditions, Practitioners are taught to visualize their aura as a sphere of light, surrounding the body in a cocoon of radiant energy. This light, often envisioned as golden or white, symbolizes purity and spiritual protection. As the practitioner focuses on expanding this light, the aura strengthens, becoming impenetrable to lower vibrations. Gnostic teachings often describe this process as an invocation of the divine spark within the true self, which, when activated, dispels any forces of ignorance or illusion that attempt to breach the sacred boundary of the individual. In addition to visualization, esoteric traditions have long employed the use of talismans and sacred objects to reinforce spiritual protection. These objects, often inscribed with symbols or charged with specific intentions, act as anchors for higher energies amplifying the practitioner's connection to divine forces. Talismans can be made from materials believed to hold spiritual potency, such as crystals, metals, or herbs. For example, in Rosicrucian practices, the use of the pentagram, a symbol of balance and divine protection, was considered a powerful tool for shielding the practitioner from external harm. The act of wearing or carrying such a talisman is not merely superstitious, it is an intentional act of aligning oneself with the protective forces of the universe. By doing so, the practitioner creates a spiritual armor that guards against unseen influences, keeping their energy field intact and vibrant. Another crucial practice for energy protection is the establishment of boundaries, both physical and metaphysical. Boundaries in the esoteric sense, are not simply walls that keep out unwanted energies. They are the lines of demarcation that define the self, preserving the sanctity of one's spiritual identity. In occult philosophy, boundaries are seen as essential for maintaining one's spiritual sovereignty. The absence of boundaries can lead to energetic entanglement, where one's personal energy is diluted or compromised by external influences. Gnostic teachings, particularly, warn against the intrusion of lower entities or forces that seek to distract or drain the soul's essence. Establishing strong boundaries involves both the mental assertion of one's personal space and the physical rituals that reinforce these boundaries in everyday life. One powerful boundary-setting technique is the practice of the circle of protection, a ritual found in various mystical traditions. In this practice, the practitioner visualizes or physically creates a circle around themselves, symbolizing a sacred space where only higher energies may enter. In hermetic traditions, the circle often represents the infinite, the divine unity, and the perfect barrier against chaos and disorder. To perform the circle of protection, the practitioner begins by visualizing a line of light encircling their body expanding outward to create a barrier between themselves and the outside world. As this circle is formed, it is imbued with the intention of divine protection, calling upon spiritual guides, angels, or higher beings to guard the space. This ritual serves not only to block out negative energies but also to anchor the practitioner in a state of spiritual alignment, reminding them of their connection to the divine source. However, Energy protection is not solely about defending against external threats, it also involves maintaining the purity and clarity of one's internal energy. In the esoteric tradition, it is understood that thoughts, emotions, and actions all carry vibrational frequencies, and these frequencies either elevate or diminish the aura's strength. Negative emotions such as fear, anger, or jealousy are seen as corrosive to the auric field creating vulnerabilities that allow lower energies to infiltrate. Therefore, the cultivation of inner peace, love, and clarity is crucial for sustaining energy protection. This aligns with the teachings of the Rosicrucians, 
who emphasized the importance of inner alchemy, transforming base emotions into higher spiritual states through mindfulness, meditation, and self-discipline. Meditation, in particular, is a key practice for maintaining energetic integrity. By regularly entering states of stillness and focus, the practitioner can clear away energetic debris, realigning with the pure frequencies of their higher self. In these moments of deep meditation, the aura naturally restores itself, shedding any negative influences and reconnecting with the divine flow of energy from the cosmos. Some esoteric traditions suggest that during meditation, the practitioner can call upon specific spiritual guides or guardians, asking them to assist in cleansing and fortifying their energy field. This communion with higher forces not only provides immediate protection but also strengthens the practitioner's connection to the unseen realms, allowing them to navigate the world with greater spiritual insight and resilience. Energy protection is a vital component of spiritual mastery. Through visualization, the use of sacred objects, the setting of boundaries, and the cultivation of inner peace, the practitioner can maintain a strong and resilient energy field. In doing so, they safeguard their spiritual integrity, ensuring that their journey through the material world is not hindered by lower energies or disruptive forces. Esoteric traditions teach that when we protect our energy, we align more deeply with the divine, allowing our true nature to shine forth and guiding us toward spiritual awakening and personal empowerment. In this way, energy protection becomes not just a defensive act, but a path to greater spiritual sovereignty and mastery. The Ancient Wisdom of Divine Timing and Patience In the sacred teachings of the ancients, time was understood not as a linear march of seconds and minutes, but as a living cycle, an eternal rhythm that governs both the cosmos and the soul. This concept of divine timing, woven through the mystical traditions of Hermeticism, Gnosticism, and Rosicrucianism, offers a profound understanding of the forces that guide our lives. To live in harmony with divine timing is to surrender to the natural flow of existence, trusting that the universe unfolds according to its own sacred rhythms. Patience, then, is not a passive act but an active engagement with the cosmic dance, an acceptance of the truth that everything manifests in its proper season. The Hermetic Principle of Rhythm teaches that everything in the universe moves in cycles. Everything flows, out and in. Everything has its tides, writes the Kabbalion. Just as the ocean's waves follow the pull of the moon, so too do the events of our lives ebb and flow according to higher rhythms that are often beyond the grasp of the rational mind. To align with these rhythms is to recognize that there is a season for planting, a season for growth, and a season for harvest. In esoteric thought, the wise practitioner understands that forcing actions against the natural order results in frustration, confusion, and spiritual exhaustion. Instead, by observing the cycles of life and attuning to divine timing, one can act with greater clarity and precision, ensuring that their efforts bear the fruit of success. The ancient Gnostics, who believed that the material world was a veil obscuring the true nature of reality, taught that patience is a key virtue in the journey toward spiritual awakening. They understood that the soul's evolution is a gradual unfolding, a process of shedding layers of illusion to reveal the divine spark within. In this way, patience becomes an act of spiritual maturity, a recognition that rushing the process of transformation only deepens one's entanglement in the material world. Gnosticism teaches that true knowledge, or gnosis, arises from within, and it blooms in its own time, much like a flower that opens to the light when it is ready, not a moment before. By cultivating patience, the seeker allows the inner wisdom to emerge naturally, without force or haste, trusting in the perfection of divine timing. One of the greatest challenges in modern life is the impatience born from our attachment to immediate gratification. Society often teaches us that success is measured by how quickly we can achieve our goals, but the wisdom of the esoteric traditions offers a different perspective. In Rosicrucian teachings, for example, 
the concept of patience is tied to the alchemical process of transformation. Just as lead cannot be transmuted into gold without time and careful attention, the soul cannot reach its highest potential without patience. The alchemist knows that each stage of the process, whether it be calcination, dissolution, or coagulation, must be honored and completed before the next can begin. To rush the work would result in failure, not only of the task at hand but of the deeper spiritual transformation sought through the process. The practice of patience requires not only a willingness to wait but also a deep inner stillness that allows one to listen to the subtle guidance of the universe. In Hermetic and Rosicrucian traditions, meditation is often used to cultivate this stillness, helping the practitioner to quiet the mind and attune to the divine currents of time. By entering a state of contemplation, one can step outside the immediate concerns of the material world and connect with the eternal now, the timeless dimension where all possibilities exist. In this space, impatience dissolves, replaced by a profound sense of trust in the divine plan. The seeker learns that every delay, every obstacle, is not a hindrance but an integral part of the journey, a necessary preparation for the manifestation of their desires. Living in harmony with divine timing also means recognizing that we are co-creators with the universe. While the external world follows its own cycles, we are not mere spectators. We have the power to influence the timing of events through our thoughts, intentions, and actions. The Hermetic principle of causation teaches that every cause has its effect, and every effect has its cause. This means that while we may not control the timing of external events, we can align ourselves with the rhythms of the universe by being mindful of the energy we put into the world. By cultivating patience, we align with the higher forces at play, allowing us to move in sync with the divine flow rather than struggling against it. Patience, then, is an act of spiritual mastery. It is the art of trusting in the unseen forces that guide the universe, knowing that all things come to fruition in their appointed time. Just as the seasons follow a natural order, so too does the unfolding of our lives. When we embrace patience, we allow ourselves to be in harmony with this cosmic order, freeing ourselves from the anxiety and frustration that comes from trying to control what is beyond our reach. Instead, we become attuned to the divine rhythms, acting with precision and grace, knowing that every action, every thought, every moment is part of a greater plan. To integrate this wisdom into daily life, one must cultivate a practice of patience through reflection and mindfulness. A simple, yet powerful exercise is to take a few moments each day to reflect on the natural cycles that govern your life. Consider the times when rushing or impatience has led to difficulty, and contrast this with moments when patience allowed things to unfold smoothly and successfully. By observing these patterns, you can begin to develop a deeper trust in the timing of the universe, learning to surrender control over things that cannot be forced. Another practice involves creating space in your daily routine for stillness and meditation. In these quiet moments, focus on the breath, the beating of the heart, and the steady rhythm of life itself. Allow yourself to become one with these rhythms, feeling the peace that comes from releasing the need for immediate answers or results. Over time, this practice will help cultivate a deeper sense of trust and patience, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with calm and clarity. Divine timing and patience are not passive virtues but active practices rooted in the deepest wisdom of the ancient esoteric traditions. They remind us that the universe has its own flow, and that true mastery comes not from forcing outcomes but from aligning ourselves with the sacred cycles of creation. By embracing patience, we learn to move with grace and precision trusting in the divine order that governs all things. In this way, we open ourselves to the flow of life, allowing our desires and dreams to manifest in their perfect time, with the full support of the universe behind them. The Rosicrucian Approach to Life and Death In the vast and profound teachings of the Rosicrucian order, life and death are seen not as polar opposites, 
but as intertwined aspects of a grand, cosmic cycle. To the uninitiated, death is perceived as the ultimate end, a final dissolution of all that is known. Yet, within the Rosicrucian tradition, death is understood as a gateway, a transformation of energy, consciousness, and spirit. Just as the alchemist seeks to transmute base metals into gold, the soul undergoes its own process of refinement and transcendence through the veil of death. Life, death, and rebirth are part of the alchemical continuum that leads the soul ever closer to its divine nature. The Rosicrucians held a deeply symbolic view of death, often referring to it as the Great Initiation. To them, death is not the cessation of existence but a necessary transition, akin to the breaking of a chrysalis to reveal the butterfly. It is the culmination of one phase of spiritual learning and the beginning of another. The soul, after shedding its earthly garment, ascends to higher planes of consciousness, where it continues its journey of self-realization and unity with the divine. This transformation echoes the alchemical process, where matter is purified and elevated. The soul, in its journey through the cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, is engaged in its own sacred alchemy, refining itself with each incarnation until it achieves the purity of spiritual gold. One of the most profound teachings of the Rosicrucians is the understanding of life as a preparation for death. This is not meant to imply a morbid fixation on the end of physical existence, but rather an embrace of the transient nature of the material world. The initiate, through study and spiritual practice, learns to detach from the illusions of the ego and the physical body, understanding that these are but temporary vessels for the soul's journey. By doing so, the initiate gains the wisdom to live with clarity and purpose, knowing that each moment is sacred and that death is but a continuation of the soul's pilgrimage. Life and death, then, are seen as two aspects of the same spiritual path, each offering unique opportunities for growth and enlightenment. This awareness of life's impermanence also grants the Rosicrucian initiate a deeper appreciation of the present moment. In mystical traditions, time is not linear but cyclical, and the present is the only true moment where spiritual transformation can occur. By living with the knowledge that physical death is inevitable, the initiate is encouraged to live fully, not in fear but in reverence of the fleeting nature of time. Each action, each thought, each breath becomes a conscious step in the alchemical process of the soul's evolution. In this way, the Rosicrucian teaches that the greatest preparation for death is to live with the awareness that life itself is a sacred ritual, an offering to the divine, with each moment a chance to align with the higher self and the cosmic order. The Rosicrucian approach to death also involves rituals that acknowledge and honor this great transition. These rituals, steeped in symbolism, serve as both a guide for the soul passing from one realm to the next and as a reminder to the living of the ongoing nature of spiritual evolution. One such ritual involves the symbolic death and resurrection of the initiate, mirroring the soul's journey through the afterlife. This ritual is not merely symbolic of physical death but represents the shedding of the ego and the awakening of the soul to higher knowledge. It is a rite of passage that reminds the initiate of their eternal nature, encouraging them to transcend the limitations of the material world and embrace their divine potential. To prepare for the inevitable transformation that death brings, Rosicrucian teachings encourage daily spiritual practices that keep the soul attuned to the higher planes. Meditation, contemplation on death, and the study of mystical texts are all tools that the initiate uses to transcend fear and to understand death as part of the divine process. By engaging in these practices, the soul becomes familiar with the energies and vibrations of the higher realms, making the transition from the physical world to the spiritual planes a natural progression rather than a sudden and fearful event. In this way, the Rosicrucian initiates are taught not only to live wisely but to die wisely, with peace and acceptance. An essential aspect of the Rosicrucian understanding of death is the concept of transformation. Just as the physical body decays and returns to the earth, 
the soul undergoes its own process of transformation, shedding the attachments and illusions that bind it to the material world. This transformation is often depicted in alchemical symbolism, where death is the dissolution phase, negretto, that is necessary before the soul can be purified, albedo, and finally reborn into a higher state of consciousness, rubedo. The Rosicrucian initiates are taught that death is a natural part of the alchemical process of the soul's evolution, and through it, the soul is refined and made ready for higher experiences in the spiritual realms. Moreover, death in the Rosicrucian tradition is not just about individual transformation but is also seen as part of a larger cosmic cycle. Just as the seasons turn and the stars move through their celestial paths, so too does the soul follow its own rhythm of birth, death, and rebirth. The initiate learns to see death not as an ending but as a necessary part of the soul's journey toward unity with the divine. This understanding allows the initiate to approach death with serenity and acceptance, knowing that it is merely one phase in the eternal cycle of existence. In practical terms, this approach to life and death encourages the initiate to engage in rituals of transformation throughout their life, preparing themselves for the eventual transition. One such ritual is the death meditation, where the practitioner visualizes their own death and the release of the soul from the body. This meditation is not meant to inspire fear but to cultivate detachment from the physical world and to foster a deep connection with the eternal nature of the soul. Through this practice, the initiate gains the wisdom to live without fear of death, fully embracing the present moment while understanding that the soul's journey is eternal. The Rosicrucian approach to life and death offers a profound and transformative perspective on the nature of existence. By viewing death as a continuation of the soul's journey rather than an end, the initiate learns to live with greater purpose, clarity, and peace. Life becomes a sacred preparation for the soul's eventual return to the divine, and death is seen as a gateway to higher knowledge and spiritual evolution. Through daily spiritual practice, meditation on the cycles of life, and rituals of transformation, the initiate embraces the truth that both life and death are part of the same cosmic rhythm, a rhythm that leads ever closer to the realization of the divine self. Awakening to your divine nature, realizing the inner God. Within each individual lies a divine spark, a fragment of the eternal source that permeates the universe. This is the core teaching of the ancient mystical traditions, from Gnosticism to Hermetricism and Rosicrucianism. The journey of life is not a simple passage through time, but a gradual awakening to this divine truth, that we are not mere mortals confined to flesh and bone, but rather eternal beings imbued with the creative force of the cosmos itself. Awakening to this inner divinity is the ultimate goal of the spiritual path, for it is only by realizing the God within that we can transcend the limitations of the material world and align ourselves with the infinite power of creation. The Gnostic tradition teaches that the material world is a veil, a dense illusion that conceals the true nature of reality. This illusion is perpetuated by the Demiurge, a false god who traps souls in ignorance and forgetfulness. Yet, even within the constraints of this illusory world, the divine spark within us remains untarnished. It is the seed of our higher self waiting to be awakened through knowledge, gnosis, and spiritual practice. This divine spark is not something external that must be sought, it is the very essence of who we are. By turning inward and dissolving the layers of ego, fear, and attachment, we reconnect with the divine source and realize our inherent godhood. In Hermetic teachings, this concept is expressed through the principle of mentalism which states that, the all is mind, and that the universe itself is a mental creation. Just as the divine mind projects the cosmos into being, so too do we, as fractals of the divine, have the power to create and shape our reality through thought, belief, and intention. To awaken to one's divine nature is to become conscious of this creative power, to realize that we are not victims of circumstance but creators of our own experience. Every thought, 
Every emotion, every belief we hold carries within it the potential to manifest in the physical world. This is the true meaning of, as above, so below, that what we create in the mental realm is reflected in the material realm. Yet, to fully realize this inner divinity, one must undergo a process of purification and transformation. The Rosicrucians refer to this as the alchemical process of turning lead into gold, a metaphor for the transmutation of the lower self into the higher self. The lead represents the ego, with all its fears, doubts, and attachments, while the gold symbolizes the purified soul, aligned with divine wisdom and creative power. This transformation is not instantaneous but requires disciplined spiritual practice, introspection, and the cultivation of virtues such as patience, humility, and compassion. By engaging in this inner work, the initiate gradually sheds the layers of illusion and awakens to the true self, the God within. The realization of one's inner divinity is not simply an intellectual understanding, it is an experiential awakening, a profound shift in consciousness that transforms how we perceive ourselves and the world around us. It is the moment when we no longer see ourselves as separate from the universe, but as an integral part of the cosmic whole. This experience of unity is described in various mystical traditions as enlightenment, self-realization, or union with the divine. In this state of awareness, dualities dissolve. There is no longer a distinction between creator and creation, between the individual self and the universal self. All is one. And within that one, we discover the limitless potential of our divine nature. To live as the creator of your reality is to embrace this inner godhood fully. It means taking responsibility for every aspect of your life, knowing that you are the architect of your own experience. It also means recognizing that you have the power to change, to evolve, and to manifest your highest potential. The ancient teachings remind us that with this power comes great responsibility, not only to ourselves but to the world around us. As we awaken to our divine nature, we are called to live in alignment with the principles of love, truth, and harmony. For to be divine is not only to create but to create in service of the greater good, to uplift and inspire others, and to bring light into the world. As you awaken to your divine nature, it is important to cultivate practices that keep you aligned with this higher consciousness. Daily meditation, reflection, and visualization are essential tools for maintaining this state of awareness. Meditation allows you to quiet the mind, dissolve the distractions of the ego, and connect with the inner stillness where your divine self resides. Reflection helps you to remain conscious of your thoughts and actions, ensuring that they are in alignment with your highest intentions. And visualization is the process by which you project your divine will into the universe, using the power of imagination to shape your reality. One powerful practice to anchor this realization is the I am meditation. In this meditation, you simply focus on the words I am as a declaration of your divine existence. With each breath, you affirm your connection to the source of all creation. As you repeat the words, allow their meaning to permeate your entire being. Feel the energy of the divine flowing through you, filling every cell, every thought, and every action. This practice is a reminder that you are not separate from the divine. You are the divine, expressing itself in human form. Through this meditation, you strengthen your awareness of your inner godhood and align yourself with the creative forces of the universe. Ultimately, the journey of awakening to your divine nature is a lifelong process. It is a path of continuous growth, transformation, and expansion. Each day offers new opportunities to deepen your connection to the divine and to express your creative power in the world. It is a journey that requires both dedication and surrender, the dedication to engage in daily spiritual practice and the surrender of the ego's need for control. As you walk this path, you will encounter challenges and obstacles, but each of these is an opportunity for growth, a stepping stone toward greater self-realization.
The realization of your inner godhood is the key to mastering your reality and living in alignment with your highest self. By awakening to the divine spark within, you transcend the limitations of the material world and step into your true role as a creator of your own destiny. This awakening is not a destination but a continuous process of becoming, as you align more and more with the infinite potential of your divine nature. Through spiritual practice, self-reflection, and the cultivation of virtues, you become a conscious creator, living in harmony with the cosmos and manifesting your highest vision for your life. This is the true essence of the mystical path, to awaken to the God within and to live as a divine being in the world. A Lifelong Journey of Awakening The path of awakening is not a linear journey, nor is it a destination that one reaches and rests upon. It is an eternal unfolding, a spiral ascent toward the realization of one's infinite potential. As you step into this sacred journey, you begin to see that each moment is a reflection of the whole, that every breath is a movement within the grand rhythm of the cosmos. The teachings within this book, drawn from the deepest wells of esoteric knowledge, are but signposts along the way, guiding you toward the inner sanctum of your own soul. They are the keys that open the door to the mysteries that dwell within, but the journey is yours to walk, and the discovery is yours to embrace. In the mystical traditions, awakening is often compared to the unveiling of a great cosmic tapestry, a work of art woven from the threads of the divine mind. Every thread is a lifetime, every knot a lesson learned, and every pattern an expression of the soul's growth. To awaken is to see this tapestry for what it truly is, not as a random collection of experiences, but as a divine creation, carefully crafted to reveal the infinite beauty and wisdom of the universe. As you awaken to this understanding, you begin to see your life not as a series of isolated events but as a part of a greater whole. Every joy, every sorrow, every triumph, and every challenge is a brushstroke on the canvas of your soul contributing to the masterpiece of your existence. Yet, the journey of awakening requires more than just understanding, it requires integration. It is not enough to intellectually grasp the truths of the universe. You must live them, breathe them, and embody them in every aspect of your life. This is the true meaning of self-mastery, to align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the highest principles of truth, love, and wisdom. The esoteric traditions teach that knowledge without application is like a seed that never takes root, it has the potential to grow, but without the proper environment, it remains dormant. Therefore, as you continue on your journey, it is essential to cultivate practices that anchor these teachings into your daily life. The ancient sages understood that the greatest transformations occur not in moments of dramatic revelation, but in the quiet, steady rhythms of daily practice. Meditation, reflection, and ritual are the tools that ground the soul in its divine nature, allowing the light of awakening to shine through even the most mundane aspects of life. Each time you sit in stillness, each time you engage in conscious reflection, you strengthen the connection between your human self and your divine self. Each ritual you perform becomes a doorway through which the sacred enters the ordinary, reminding you that the boundaries between the physical and spiritual realms are not as solid as they seem. Through these practices, you learn to see the world not as a prison of limitation but as a playground of possibility, where the divine and the human meet in creative union. As you continue to awaken, you may find that your perspective on life begins to shift in profound ways. The challenges that once seemed insurmountable now appear as opportunities for growth. The fears that once held you back now dissolve in the light of your expanding awareness. You begin to understand that every experience, whether pleasant or painful, is a stepping stone on the path to self-realization. This is the essence of spiritual maturity, to embrace all aspects of life with equanimity, knowing that each moment is a gift from the universe designed to help you awaken to your true self. The journey of awakening is also a journey of service. As you come to realize your own divine nature, 
you are naturally called to share this realization with others. This is not done through force or persuasion but through the quiet power of example. When you live in alignment with your highest self, you become a beacon of light for others, a living testament to the truth that lies within each of us. The Rosicrucians, Gnostics, and Hermetic scholars all understood that the greatest service we can offer the world is to awaken to our own divinity. For in doing so, we inspire others to do the same. As you walk this path, you will find that your actions, your words, and even your thoughts become imbued with the energy of the divine, influencing the world in ways that are both subtle and profound. And so, as this book comes to a close, your journey is just beginning. The teachings contained within these pages are but the first steps on the path to self-mastery, a path that stretches beyond the boundaries of time and space. As you continue to walk this path, remember that you are never alone. The wisdom of the ancients, the guidance of the divine, and the support of your higher self are always with you, leading you toward the realization of your highest potential. Take with you the knowledge that you are a divine being, capable of creating your reality and shaping your destiny. You hold within you the power to transform not only your own life but the world around you. Every thought, every action, every moment is an opportunity to express the divine spark that resides within. As you move forward, may you do so with courage, with clarity, and with the unwavering knowledge that you are the creator of your own experience. This is the lifelong journey of awakening, a journey of infinite possibility, of boundless love, and of unshakable truth. Embrace it fully and watch as the world around you transforms in response to the awakening of the God within. In the end, there is only one truth. You are divine, and your potential is as infinite as the cosmos itself. Now, go forth and create your life with the wisdom and power that have been revealed to you. The journey continues, but you are prepared. The light of awakening is within you, waiting to illuminate the path ahead. Let it shine.